Hi, everybody. <clears throat> Pick up our cross and follow Jesus. My name is Dwayne Bogan. <clears throat> uh, I briefly served in the Marine Corps. I worked for the Department of Defense and the Air Force Reserves for four years. Um, I was raised Air Force. My dad is 36-year retired Air Force, actually, and 30-year federal government. Uh, I have MS, unfortunately, and I'm in a power chair. But uh, I've been uh, prophesying, and uh, I'm the one that the Lord... Jesus Christ, Jesus is the Christ, revealed his arm to. I saw his arm in the, in the clouds years ago. And uh, I just, I, I have to let you all know to uh, fear God Jehovah and give him glory. And for those of you that pray in his name and you say, and I quote, in his name, it means nothing. You're praying to Satan when you do that. So don't do that, please. <sighs> when you pray to God, the book of, I have the Bible here, but I, I, I can't reach it right now and bring it down. But I can do all this from memory. <clears throat> Book of John says, you can ask God anything. Jesus said, you can ask God anything, anything at all. And if you do it in Jesus' name, he will give it to you. But you have to use their names. God, the Father, is Jehovah. So when you pray to God, you have to pray in his name, Jehovah. And you have to ask in the Lord, Jesus is the Christ's name. Have to discern spirits. Only the Holy Ghost can say Jesus Christ is Lord. Only the Spirit of God Himself can say Jesus Christ walked the earth in the flesh already. No Antichrist can say Jesus is the Christ, and no Antichrist can say Jesus Christ came out from God. <clears throat> None of the seven spirits of God, there are seven of them, will ever call Jesus accursed. He's not, He was perfect. Uh, Jesus only died on the cross once, which He did already. <clears throat> Um, he already came back in the clouds. I was standing on the tarmac at Andrews Air Force Base. It was around August 10, 2010. Jesus' throne was in the clouds. We all saw it. Saw him. <clears throat> that already happened. So anyway, with that being said, I was told and instructed by Lord Jesus Christ to shake the dust off my feet at, hiss at, rebuke, and denounce all antichrists and all the unsaved at this point. And we, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus is the Christ, and I both judge them all as lying thieves, lying murderers thieves. <clears throat> Another thing is pride. You're not supposed to be proud. I don't say proud to be an American. I say glad to be an American, and I am since I was a little kid. You're supposed to serve the Lord with gladness. That is in Proverbs, and it is in Psalms. Uh, a psalm is, the Lord is our shepherd, we shall not want. You know that. Here in the valley of the shadow of death, under the shadow of the wing of God. That's two different psalms. That's 23 and 42, I believe it is. Um, I, for one, have always and still do believe in and on Lord God Jehovah and in Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth and in the Holy Spirit, but I was raised Catholic and Baptist both. Uh, I still have faith in Lord God Jehovah and I still have faith in Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth as well. <coughs> um, I still love Lord God Jehovah and I still love Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth as well. You guys can do what you want. I can't make you. But Jesus can, <laughs> and he's not letting up. That's another thing. Once God begins a work, he will not stop it until he is finished with it. He's going to have it his way, one way or another, whether you like it or not. People need to understand that and get it through their thick skull. <sighs> okay? And with that being said, I offer every man and woman over the age of 18 that's not in hell a cold glass of water in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you like it, I will get it for you. I can get it. I'm capable. I have glasses. I have ice here. I have water here. No problem. I offer all the children a cold glass of water in the name of Simon Peter the Apostle, under 18 and hurting him. I ask you all, you can offer me one? A cold glass, you know, we all get me a cold glass of water in the name of Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And the reason being is, so none of your rewards are lost. That is in the book of Matthew. I can't make the children. All the children 
you can offer me a cold glass of water in the name of Simon Peter the Apostle or in Lord Jesus Christ the Nazarene name, if you're that, you're Simon Peter the Apostle for the kids. But I recommend, suggest, if you haven't, offer your parents, your mother or your father, a cold glass of water. Again, I don't want anybody's reward lost, and that's why I'm saying it. Uh, you all need to be born again, baptized with water. Baptism for the men, we call it christening for the ladies, it's the same thing. You baptize with water, just make a cross with water in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, which is the Moses baptism and the John baptism, or in the name of Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, baptize or christen yourselves. You need to do it to be born again, to enter into the kingdom of God. The whole planet becomes God's kingdom again. <clears throat> Everything's going to be made free for everybody. There's not going to be use of many money anymore. Book of John again. Jesus overthrew the money changer's tables, if you remember, in the, in the Father's house. The whole planet becomes the Father's house. There is no money. Aliens are real. They're, other, they're not God. They are other creations of God. <clears throat> Jesus, again, in the book of John, says, others I have, and I must bring them, and it will be one fold with one shepherd, and they will hear his voice. Those are the aliens. I've met the greys. The greys are real. But the Bible also says every star has his own glory. That means around every star, it could be the second planet, could be the third planet, could be the fourth planet, but around every star is a two-legged being around it. That's how prevalent life is in the universe. Every star has a being around it. And with that being said, we're created in God's image and God's likeness. A head, torso, two eyes, nose, mouth, two ears, body, two arms, two legs. That's what he means by that, created in God's image and God's likeness. For those of you that have seen the gray aliens, they're real. But they're similar to us, but different than us. But all of us resemble God as well. I've met God as well. I've seen him. He's a clear spirit. Um, that's what they mean by that. And when Jesus said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father, which is also in the book of John, Jesus and God, God first, of course, and Jesus second, look alike in the face, except God the Father, who's a spirit, has no hair. He has no hair at all. Jesus had long hair. You know? um, they look alike in the face, the cheekbones and stuff like that, um, mouth, nose. They look alike. That's what they mean by that. <clears throat> As I said, I've met them. I've met God the Father a few times. Um, for those of you that don't know, I'm just enlightening you. You're supposed to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and then he will add the rest unto you. I do. I seek first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, and his face. It is also repeated in Psalms, the Lord's face we will seek. Not Jesus's. You're not supposed to seek Jesus. You're supposed to seek God the Father. Um, and uh, fear God Jehovah and give him glory. And that's the biggest thing. Anyway, with all that being said, I thank you all. May God bless those of you that are saved. Um, I have to shake the dust of my feet at all the unsaved and all the antichrists, and I do. And I hiss at them, rebuke them, denounce them, and chasten them all. And uh, the Lord and I judge them both as lying, murderers, thieves. Period. As you know, a thief loses everything and owes it back seven times. Uh, but there's not going to be any more money eventually. God brings back Eden. That's at the end of Revelation, if you read it. God does bring back Eden. And he's going to have it his way, one way or another. Amen and amen. Thank you. May God bless you all. Glory be to God, Jehovah, and the highest. And glory be to Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And may God and Jesus be magnified, glorified, and exalted over the whole face of the earth and throughout the universe. In Jesus Christ's name forever, please. And we thank you. And hallelujah. And amen.